Traitress of swords, Eldrith of the Westering Sun. That she has been forgotten is irony of a sort. Eldrith was one of the greatest generals of the Sword Coast, commander of the Company of the Westering Sun, sworn sword and defender of Baldur's Gate. She served with honor and distinction in the first and last seasons of the Sundering War, the Crescent Court Siege, and finally, the campaign against the Black Horde. In all these battles, she was victorious. Where she led, we followed. Glory drew us, loyalty kept us, and we were proud to serve beneath her banner. Our lives were hers, and our deaths were hers. I do not know what pride burrowed into her heart, but it poisoned her. It was a poison I did not see until it was too late. Elbrith had fought too many battles, achieved too many victories, and she had come to see the city of Baldur's Gate as her own. On the day of the great betrayal, and the last day of the campaign against the Black Horde, I left my wife within the walls of Baldur's Gate, where she would be safe, and told her I would return. She was one of the most beautiful elven maids I have ever known. There are times when I feel as if I hear her singing for me still, waiting for my return. Then I fear her spirit shall never be laid to rest while I am trapped here. My wife, to think that she suffers still, and for my sake. Our company took the field against the Horde and scattered them, even though the orcs and goblins outnumbered us five to one. Still, in the rout, almost half their forces survived and fled the field. Eldrith was determined to pursue them. The Dukes of Baldur's Gate refused. Too many good soldiers have been lost, the Dukes told us. They and the people wanted no more of blood and death, and they felt the Horde would not return. Eldrith was furious. Even though we had lost many men, she felt it was better we deal a death blow to the Horde and ensure they never threaten Baldur's Gate again. So she defied the Dukes, and led us to our deaths. Already weakened, we chanced upon one of the straggling bands of the Horde and cornered them within the Dosiah's cleft. It was tactical brilliance in trapping them within the canyon, but in doing so, we gave them no choice but to fight us. Backed into a corner, the Horde proved more vicious than we had anticipated. 
Eldrith, fearing of losing the field, sent a messenger back to Baldur's Gate for reinforcements before the Horde broke free of her trap. The reinforcements never came, and the Horde overran us. Eldrith survived. I survived. Many of the company of the Western Sun. Now there are many graves within the Dosias Clan. Much of the ground there is strewn with bones of our soldiers, mixed with the orbs of goblins. Eldrin became a thing, a creature consumed by fury. Wounded, she returned to Baldur's Gate to demand an audience with the Dukes. Instead, she was met at the gates, told that for her disobedience upon the battlefield, the walls of Baldur's Gate will be forever closed to her and the Western Sun. Eldrith, she gathered us, all of us who remained, all of us who had sworn to serve her, and she ordered our broken company to attack the walls of her city. She swore she would take it from the Dukes, make it hers, and put the Dukes to the sword. It would be justice, she said. Justice. It was suicide. We were slain almost to the man, and we were driven from the city, hounded by the remaining troops of Baldur's Gate. We knew no rest, no peace, and they pursued us for leagues upon leagues, all the way to the marsh of Chalimber. They feared Eldrith's wrath so greatly that they were determined that she should not escape alive. I died here in the marsh of Chalimber, and so did all that remained of the company of the Western Sun. Eldrith was the last to die, brought low by crossbowmen and archers, men who feared to come within reach of her sword. Even against death, Eldrith's fury prevailed. Now she lives again, a creature of terrible power and terrible anger. In her eyes, she sees nothing but Baldur's Gate in flames. You will find her at the top of this tower, at her watch, waiting for battle. She knows you are here. She has attempted to seal you within this hall, as the stones of the Onyx Tower obey her will. But even as she is the mistress of the tower, our spirits are part of the tower as well. I shall allow the stones of this hall to part so that you may reach her, and I pray, kill her for the last time. I pray the gods favor you. If not, then I fear no one shall be able to stop her. Eldred's will is tied to the tower. Surely you know that when she is slain, this tower will die as well. It will fall into the elemental plane of fire and be consumed. You cannot escape this tower while she lives, and not after she is dead. Can you not use the way you entered to escape? The tower itself touches many places, other planes of existence, even creates gates to them. Perhaps there is some manner by which these gates may be used to escape. 